Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to explain a couple things about the combo command run. I have uh, pretty much all of Act 1 recorded, aside from a few bosses, which I'll probably iron out tomorrow. I'm uh, uploading this ahead of the long marathon of videos. <laughs> There's not much going on right now, so I'm kind of just doing this for fun. Uh, I have to admit, uh, I'm not going to be able to, you know, make really optimized runs on this and the reason for that is uh, there's definitely some RNG involved uh, especially since I'm missing a bunch of the skills that uh, actually make things a lot easier. Uh, Ines for one she has one move that uh, is really great for or one skill that's really great for breaking guards. Uh, you notice uh, breaking guards is pretty awkward uh, even though you know I'm using the optimal combo with Shing which is Voltaic Roar to uh, Soaring Jet or whatever the hell it's called. I don't mostly know the Japanese names but I'm using that to break guards, and uh, it can be awkward. There's also an execution barrier with this. If you want to see some of the inputs, some of them are pretty simple, some of them are not. <laughs> I find that the game has a really good uh, input reading system. It's pretty impressive considering that uh, this is just kind of an extra accessory that nobody has really uh, paid too much attention to in the you know hardcore Tales community. It reads inputs relatively well. The only thing that's difficult I've found is these right left right and right left ones. Obviously, you know, when you have a fighting game system, you know, or an accessory in your game and you have like 30 moves, uh, some compromises are going to have to be made. And uh, the only ones that I can't get out are ones like this. These are pretty hard. This is why I use my four art shortcuts for the moves that are really hard to get out. Obviously, Sage and Zeppa is pretty much one of the best moves. It's a way to pass through a boss safely while breaking their guard at the same time. So, these are the only moves that I'm doing with shortcuts. Everything else you see in the run is being done manually. And obviously, with that comes, uh, there has to be a margin for error. And uh, I decided when I started, you know, I reset quite a bit on some of those takes. <laughs> Chalcedonia especially, and uh, I decided I'm not going to go too crazy trying to get a good take because uh, some of it is, you know, dependent on when the chase link comes up. Uh, that's definitely a big part. That's when you can get your big damage, and sometimes you can have a really good run and chase link won't come out. <laughs> so I apologize if, you know, if it's not up to your standards, but I am kind of the only one doing this, so... <laughs> I've kind of just decided to set my own rules. I will not be using any items. Uh, the first few ones, I think I use a couple orange gels, but after that, I won't be using anything. The nice thing is you have this uh, skill here from Gaul. Let's see where it is. You have these, which heal you by 10% if you get a guard counter. So if you have a good take and you're actually landing the majority of your counters, you're not going to die anytime soon, and uh, it definitely adds uh, even more importance to landing those properly. So, uh, I'm sorry if it's not like, you know, super optimized, but I am kind of doing it <laughs> in a different way from most solo runs. In most solo runs, you know, you just kind of use the basic art slots, but uh, the combo command is really nice in this game because you only have 11 slots. Basically, you have your, you know, normal d-pad you have your analog stick ones which I use in the combo command run and then you can remap your basic attacks into moves but I find that you actually want to keep your neutral attack because uh, it's good filler it's good for baiting guard counters and stuff like that which is really important on bosses because that's where all your damage comes from so basically you only have 11 slots <laughs> so being able to access everything at once is really nice and uh, I haven't even come close to mastering it I've put probably about three playthroughs into this accessory and uh, I wouldn't really consider myself great I think I'm maybe above average I mean I'm sure maybe there's some someone else out there that will attempt it someday but uh, I'm not gonna go too crazy on the resets I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the run um, on some takes I decided or some bosses I decided to not go too crazy on the takes because it's very RNG dependent especially Chalcedony <laughs> his counter is like the fastest one in the game and the main issue is that sometimes you actually land the counter which requires a uh, pretty fast reaction time and uh, you won't even be able to get the combo off it. I think in the take that I decided to accept, uh, I think I got like one of them off and I got a long chase link combo and I did a big convert off it. So I decided to take that one. Uh, in terms of the final boss, I find that that's probably going to be the part where A, I don't finish the run or B, I just switched the Japanese version uh, where I have him uh, Shing at level 200. 
They used a bunch of stat increasing herbs on him and stuff like that. His fell arm is pretty powerful too. Uh, chances are I'll have to do it on there. Uh, if you've never played this game, like <laughs> the game is relatively easy. Like even just playing it casually, uh, the only thing that's really difficult is getting you know has a long learning curve is using the guard counters and obviously since they're different for every enemy uh, it takes a pretty significant mastery to get them off all the time and uh, it definitely makes this game kind of like a devil may cry game you know you can't really go back to those games and just kind of be a master at them right away it's gonna take a long time that's kinda how this game is and uh, I, could, I would consider that like the only thing that's really difficult about it but the final boss on unknown is like probably the hardest thing in this game aside from the post game boss on unknown the main reason for that is he has two counters he has a ton of health uh, he has a hiyogi uh, he has the in his first form he has a little poles or whatever that you have to hit otherwise he does a huge AOE attack I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that solo on this run so we'll see what happens uh, I'm still a long way off from there I, I, st I do still have my Japanese version so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if it's not like completely legit but <laughs> I don't know how to approach that flight solo but we'll see what happens anyway enjoy the rest of the run uh, I've got a DFO video going out today the rest is going to be uh, a pretty long stretch of uh, you know combo command runs on this and uh, I'll probably Probably mix in some Vita port view, port review series videos as well. Peace.